Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. Welcome to another resource for adhesion science, downloadable from my website, practicaladhesionresources.html. This time it's the Abbott Guide to Rheology. I've always been frightened of rheology, and I wrote this guide partly for myself. It's what I wish I'd been able to read when I was trying to understand rheology. This Word document goes through it all in fairly careful detail. The guide uses what I hope is a very simple approach to describing rheology, and I hope you'll be able to lose your fear once you've read it. In addition to the guide is this spreadsheet which accompanies it. The spreadsheet covers three areas of rheology. The first you see here is the basics, and this is just going over velocity, time, strain, strain rate, and all that sort of stuff. I won't waste your time in this video on that. The next one is about shear effects. We know that viscosity generally decreases with shear rate, and we've got a typical plot here where at low shear rate the viscosity is about 10,000 centipoise, and at high shear rate it's very low. The curve is governed by the cross equation, and the parameters are here. If I change alpha to 0.09, then the shape changes. If I change n to, say, 1.5, then it becomes much sharper. So that's how you can control the shape. Look at it in the classic log plot mode, which is what we're used to seeing. Then have a shock looking at it in linear mode, where you see that most of the reduction in viscosity has taken place very quickly. And if you ever see curves from rheologists, they tend to plot shear stress versus shear rate, which is what we have here in the log and linear version. To me, they look very strange, but I introduce them so that you are not frightened when you see these strange things from rheologists. The final part of the spreadsheet allows you to estimate the viscosity at different steps. For example, if you've got it in the pot slowly stirring, it might be at 1 hertz, and therefore its viscosity will be 9,500 centipoise. If it's mixing at 100 hertz, it might be 1,600 centipoise. High shear mixing, it might be down to 200. But when you just rub the adhesive, or when you stick things together and slide them with a 10 micron gap, the shear rate's probably something like 10,000, so the viscosity is only 25 centipoise. So it's very important not only to see these curves, but apply them. Finally, there's the scary stuff about G prime and G double prime, but actually it's not that scary, and it's discussed also in one of the apps on the Practical Adhesion website. We have a stimulus, if it's purely elastic, then the response in red here is entirely in phase. If it's purely viscous, then the response is 90 degrees out of phase. And if it's a mixture, in this case it's a 50-50 mixture, so it's 45 degrees, then you get that slight lag. By playing around with these parameters, hopefully you, like me, will lose your fear of G prime, G double prime, and tan delta.